Sherlock, we received a letter. In this day and age, how curious. Yes, John, about as curious as a dog that doesn't bark. <laughs> Typewritten and with a dandy roll watermark. What does it say? Dear Mr. Holmes, I wouldn't bother you... If I didn't think my life was in danger. I'm having terrible visions that seem frighteningly real. It's absurd, but I'm being haunted by my own literary creations. I'm a screenwriter and was recently commissioned to produce an original script, a film about a missing boy. The premise was intriguing, and for once the contract terms were great. A dream job that would pay the bills for many years. But the dream has soured. The problems began when I started fleshing out the main character, the hero detective. A number of ideas presented themselves. Samuel Marlowe, a hard-boiled gumshoe. Agnes Peabody, a writer-turned-detective. The others weren't so well-developed. Barbara Thorndyke, forensic scientist. Lord Vane, playboy aristocrat. A maverick police detective, a brain. They all had potential, but just as I settled on one, I started seeing the others everywhere I went, exactly as they were in my imagination, but palpable, breathing human beings. It's as if they simply willed themselves into existence. Just last night, I woke to the sound of someone at my typewriter, but when I got downstairs, there was nobody there. Just a page, with three unsettling words. Where's my story? People tell me I'm going mad, but I know this is real. Mr. Holmes, I'm writing in the frantic hope... ...that you can help me wake up from this living nightmare. Yours, in despair, Mary Westmacott. Sherlock, whoever heard a character stepping out of an author's imagination and coming to life? John, quickly, find the number, get Miss Westmacott on the phone. I believe she's in great danger. What? Don't what me, John, just do it. All right, all right, I don't know. Do this, fetch that, where's the blooming gratitude? There's something uncanny about all of this. Something monstrous. The ghosts and the supernatural. Nonsense. I'll stake my reputation on her sanity. No, this is the work of a good old-fashioned villain. A madman intent on driving Mary insane, subverting her sense of fantasy and reality. Where's my story? I wonder. Holmes, you won't believe it. As I feared, she's already dead. Yes, the police answered. She was murdered at her desk. A dagger in her back and three words on the page in the typewriter. Fair is fair. The doors to the study were locked from the inside with no sign of false entry. And the manuscript for the film is gone. It's a genuine locked room mystery. Genuine, maybe. But mystery, hardly. Although it would appear that we have just been engaged to work for a corpse. Grab your coat, John. The game is on.